To a lot of people, Hardcore Iron Man mode is about making an account that's as high level as possible. And that's kind of boring to me. I, not, not to like downgrade anyone else's achievements, you guys are doing great, keep it up. But to me, Hardcore Iron Man is more about seeing what you can achieve on the account, what bosses you can kill, how many you can kill, and really what items you can get on the account that are so unique and are going to set you apart from other hardcores. A lot of hardcores do the Slayer bosses, they do God Wars Dungeon, they do Chambers of Zarek, and they get all those items, but they never really venture outside of that and actually do something that can really easily get them killed. Now, keeping that in mind, there's one item out there that might not sound too important, but if you really think about it, it's one of those items that I think really makes a big distinction between a very good hardcore and just a good hardcore. When you think about some of the best geared past and present hardcores that are out there, uh, Oispicalia, Agile Flea 53, XZN, number one, but oh, never mind, not him. There's one item that all of those guys have gotten that I've yet to achieve. Meet Dragon Pickaxe, my wilderness locked sexiness on a stick. The Dragon Pickaxe might not seem like the most important item out there, but it's actually a massive upgrade at Chambers of Zarek, and that's actually a grind that I haven't really gotten too much into yet. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't go for this thing on stream unless you want me to be an Iron Man tomorrow instead of a hardcore Iron Man. So I've been camping KBD lately for about the past week or so off stream, uh, and I've kind of changed my setup a little bit. I, I moved from Proselyte to Carols and then Carols to Bandos because I figured, you know, if I end up dying, I'm, I'm probably not going to play the account anyways. So I might as well bring all of my best gear and, you know, at least if someone can kill me, they can have a nice story to tell their friends and they'll have a nice payday on top of it all. So, eh, why not? So far on task, I can get about 30 kills per trip off task, maybe about 22 to uh, 25, depending on if I get shark drops. Uh, and I think overall, I've been getting about 50 kills an hour, depending on how long I take to gear up for a new trip. So luckily, I haven't invested a whole lot of time at KBD here. However, it's getting a little bit risky, and since I am using a scout to, um, to you know, watch the, the area on the way into KBD's lair, I've noticed that there's a lot of PK activity picking up here at night lately. Now, for that reason, I started thinking, you know, maybe I want to change my approach to this, and maybe I want to try something other than the KBD. Now, I ran through a few ideas in my head of how I want to do this, and I figured eventually that the best way to do it is going to be by getting a Wilderness Task of Bears from Crystalia. And then the added bonus of if I don't get it, I can skip the task at Turiel, and he can also assign bears, so it's kind of a double whammy, I can get it either way. The only problem is I need to make sure that I don't get scouted while I'm getting a wilderness task because if anyone sees me doing this, I highly doubt that they think I'm going to go for a MSB imbued bow, you know, add-on or or any of the other wilderness loots that can drop out there like the Slayer Staff add-on. They're probably going to think that I'm going for something wilderness boss related. And after 20 minutes or so of skipping and getting new tasks, I finally grabbed a bear task off of Turiel. I don't know if this is normal, but anytime I do wilderness content, like if I'm going out there for a while, I always make sure that I don't get scouted here in Varrock by running to the East Bank, finding an empty world, taking all my gear off when I run so people don't see that I'm in gear that I might be taking out to the wilderness, and then like trying to sneak up all sneakily. Okay, so here's my plan. I, I'm going to use two accounts in addition to Lost Focus. I'm going to have one dressed as a Callisto killer in full Varrock, hoping that if I can stand him near Callisto but not actually do anything on him, if PKers show up, they're going to attack him, thinking that he's the one that's trying to kill Callisto. My other one I'm setting up to look like a PKer, and that's just, again, as some sort of distraction. Basically, what I want is to redirect attention onto my other two accounts, so if someone shows up, they attack them instead of attacking Lost Focus, and I'll have time to log out. So luring Callisto down from his spawn point to the safe spot is pretty simple for the hardcore. I just need to remember a few things. First off, I can't have Callisto attack me. And second, I can't deal damage to Callisto. If either one of those happen, it ruins the kill for the hardcore and I'm not going to get it. The problem is, if someone else has already logged into that world and taken damage, then I'm also not going to get the kill. And I'm probably not going to be killing it ahead of time on my main just to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm hoping I don't have to deal with that too much. But essentially what happens is I'm going to lure Callisto down to this spot. And he's going to get in line with this north and south uh, line here, basically. Once he's in line with me, I'm going to step down and then one tick later step over. And then I just like to move over to the side and I'm going to move up to the square that I'm going to be uh, attacking Callisto from on the hardcore. So we're going to come up here. We're going to tag Callisto with a vulnerability. That way he doesn't attack me and I don't actually deal damage on him so it doesn't ruin the kill. We're going to come over here to this eastern side of this little rocky outcrop here. And we're going to run all the way 
down to the northern of the tiles that I've marked, which is three tiles north of the bones that are on the ground here. Not, not those bones, the ones down here. When he's north-south with me, I'm gonna run down, and then once it later run over, and then that should set up the lure, and we'll be good to go for the hardcore. All right, so I got the lure all set up. I've got Focus, which is my Iron Man, dressed as my Callisto Killer, and he's more to the north, so if anyone's running down from the north, because that's usually where the PKers run down from, they're gonna see him first and hopefully attack him. I've got my other account, Iron Foe, which is uh, not an Iron Man, but anyways, used to be. Uh, he's dressed as a PKer, but I don't actually have Ancients or anything like that on him. He's only got the Enfeeble spells, so I can uh, so I can lure the boss down. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, again, is just so I'm not uh, stepping into multi on the hardcore, because that's probably guaranteed death. And uh, it's a method that I can lure it down without ruining the kill for myself. Now, both of my other accounts have auto-retaliate on, but my intention is not to tag them. Like, if, if a PKer shows up, and gets on lost focus. I'm not going to try to tag them off on my other accounts, but if they accidentally attack one of those accounts first, I think it's fair game that they can auto-retaliate to them. So basically, it comes down to the PKers to screw up. If they screw up and attack the wrong account, they're going to get auto-retaliated to, and then I don't feel like I've broken the rules. And, uh, well, I mean, there's no rules anyways, but hardcore is really just about, you know, how you're going to play it yourself. This is kind of what I'm comfortable, you know, doing. And if they attack me first, then I'm going to have to tank test. To me, that is kind of in a manner that doesn't break the integrity of the mode, but also just kind of makes it, oh shit, I didn't get the loot. Okay, I think it's time to get out. About three seconds before I logged in on this account for the next kill, a PKer logged in and attacked one of my accounts and killed him. And that's not very good for me. And honestly, the guy was trash, but I don't want to end up dying on this account. So I think I'm just going to call this for the night. All right, it's super early, so I'm going to hopefully not run into any PKers this time. And Oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, made it back out, so let's go ahead and log off and uh, get Callisto into position and try this again. Okay, so I actually thought up something different this time. I figured, you know, that any PKer with half a brain is going to be able to tell that I'm the account that's actually attacking Callisto. Uh, so I probably don't want my accounts spread out. So I've instead stood all of my accounts all in the same square. Now, the way that I see this, this gives me a much, much lower chance to be attacked on this account than the other method does. I actually have four accounts total logged in right now. I've got like a level 50 account logged in. I've got Iron Foe and Focus, who are both around level 124. And then I've got Lost Focus, who is 125. So the way I think it's going to work out is if someone logs in uh, and left clicks me with, say, a Rune Crossbow or, you know, Addy Crossbow or Addy Crossbow. Why would they use an Addy Crossbow? Anyways, say they left click me. Uh, with their crossbow to attack me and get me into combat as quick as they can before I log out. I've got a 3 in 4 chance that they don't left click this account. I don't exactly know how it prioritizes who shows up on top, but I think it's PID based. Again, I don't think this technically breaks my idea of how hardcore should be played. It's just kind of cleverly getting around things. I'm not going to be attacking PKers off on my alt accounts, but if they attack the wrong account, that's on them. Makes sense to me. All right, last kill was a no-go, let's... And great, I didn't get anything again. I don't know why, but it looks like my recorder's not actually recording, right? I need to fix that soon. Hey, we finally got our first kill! So I think we've been doing this for like 30 minutes so far, and I think I've missed two or three kills, but at least I'm... Oh, oh, good. Oh, this is actually really good. Uh, it's not my loot again. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh. Ah, oh, Red Dragon. So, a Runelite plugin actually just saved me. Um, you can actually turn on player indicators and highlight people that are not in your clan chat, and if you look at the minimap, that's how long it took me to react to someone logging in because of this thing. Here's that one-fourth speed. Haters are going to say it's cheating. Oh! Oh! Oh, no way, dude. Yes! 10kc, I'm out. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, but after like a week of camping KBD, well, I can't really say camping, but, you know, killing KBD for a couple trips per night before I go to bed, I just pulled a D-pick on my first freaking Callisto trip. All right, then. I can now say that I've got one of those items that I think sets hardcores apart. I'll take it.